Alright guys, welcome back to another video for Creator Procedures. So today what we're going to be looking at is the inventory blocks for block procedures. Uh, these ones are a little bit different. Uh, they can work with any block that has an inventory, so chests as well, as well as other modded um, inventories. You can find them under the couple block tabs at the top here, uh, block data and um, the other block tab there's one to get the inventory this one is to get the amount of items in that inventory the other one is for the item itself you can also set the specific block there is also one to um, remove it so you can remove and there are a couple other ones for damage and uh, clearing the inventory as well so the last two are a little bit newer. Um, there's that one, and then there's the other one, which will clear the inventory. So we'll be covering a little bit more advanced stuff today, but this is basically the blocks that we'll be covering with, and we'll be taking a look at uh, how to use them in actual script. So let's get started, and we'll start making a procedure. So we're going to make a basic inventory testing script. So something similar to a furnace, though you can use this method with any amount of slots. So I'll just show you the basics of how to do this. So you're going to need a if statement to start with, and then you're going to need to actually test for the item. So if you want to test for an item, you need the pink operation. You can either test for a different slot, or you can also test for a specific item as well, which we'll be doing. So this will, you can basically select the item that you want. Now blocks can be items as well. So there's all these different items that you can select. We're gonna check if the slot zero has a inventory uh, or an item of a diamond. And then what we want to do is we're going to test if another slot or if there's a mount to that item. So if there's a certain amount to that slot. So what we can do from there is we can test if it is equal to or greater than um, a specific number. And we can just use a number block to get the a value. So in this case, I want to know if it is equal to or greater than two. So if there's two diamonds in the slots, then we will be running this procedure. Now we need to basically bind these to a uh, certain condition. So we're going to grab an and and gate and then we're going to basically drag these two onto that so we should have something like this now this will test for both conditions uh, for both the item being a two and the diamond item now I want to make sure that slot one and slot two have this at least two items of diamonds in each one so we can do that and then we can just update the the slot IDs and we're going to test um, basically if the well, actually, you know what? Let's uh, go ahead and make a furnace slot. That makes more sense, so it's easier to follow. So we're gonna make sure that we have slot one be at least have one coal in that inventory slot. Now, what we need to basically do is basically test if there is um, room in the output slot. So for what we can do for that is we're going to use a combination of two conditions. One's going to be an AND condition. We're going to use something very similar to this system. Uh, we're going to test if there is a certain method, but we need to do a little bit math at the end here. Uh, we're going to go into set the slot IDs. So it's slot three and or two or whatever. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we select an item for our output. So this item will be what should be in the inventory. And then we want to know if it is equal to or less than. And then we're going to go to the um, inventory section. Uh, let me just make sure that this is set up. So we'll go to the inventory section and we're going to get max stack of items. And we're going to remove the provided item stack. We'll be using a block state from our inventory up here. Now, it says slot three. Normally this would be thought slot two. I forgot to do that when I was recording, but um, as long as the slots are the same, it should be fine. Um, if you have three slots in the thing, it should be fine. But yeah, so we're going to test if the slot has a certain amount of items and if we're going to add a certain amount of item to that uh, slot. So we're testing if it, the slot count plus one equals the maximum 
uh, slots or stack size or less than. So as long as it's within that range, it should be fine to run this procedure if it's the same item. Uh, the other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure if that item or that slot has zero items, so if it's empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically just remove this, put the slot for the condition there, remove that, and then we're going to just test if the slot has zero items. And if that's the case, then it's going to return true. So that will be only happening if the slot is empty. So once we've done that, we can actually go ahead and add a few different conditions. But first, uh, let's basically just go over this a little bit. So the first two are basically going to get the items uh, from the input and out or the two input slots. And then it's going to go ahead and run the output slot. Now I want to remove slot zero and slot one. So these two slots up here, slot one and uh, slot two. So we want to remove two items from the slot uh, one sl or slot zero. And then we want to remove one item from where the coal is which is in slot one. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can add one item to the provided stack. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to make sure that it's that specific item that we're going to be crafting. And then we need to make sure that we get the count of that stack. And then we're going to set say plus one. So we're going to get the amount and then plus one of that stack. So like we've already tested for previously. We also need to make sure this slot uh, ID is up to date for all of those things. So that's basically it. Uh, the other ones we don't really need to do in this particular procedure, but you can use that method for pretty much any procedure. You can test for multiple slots as long as they're uh, true, and then they will uh, go ahead and uh, craft up whatever you need. Uh, these blocks only work on the block side, so they will not work in the GUI. Uh, GUIs are on client side only, so uh, things like the um, these particular procedure blocks will only run from the block if it is linked to the actual GUI. Um, so make sure that the block GUI is linked properly and then it should update in the GUI. If not, there's other methods I can teach later that will get the uh, display items for those slots. But outside of that, uh, that's basically it. Um, there's nothing really else I need to note that outside of, you know, making sure that your block has the set amount of slots or the game will crash. Uh, if you're testing for something outside of the range, say um, there's only uh, three slots and it's from zero to two, then if I'm using three, then the game will crash because there isn't um, the total amount of slots for actually testing. It goes over that range, so it doesn't, it can't find it and the game will crash in that instance. Uh, we can take a look at that in just a second. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there's that. Uh, binding it to the blocks inventory is pretty important. But if we go to the block, we'll just type something quickly so we can go to the inventory tab. And you'll need to enable the block inventory at the top, but um, also make sure that the inventory is bound to that inventory. You just need to make sure that it's selected for the GUI. You don't actually need the right click part, but you do need to um, do the um, sele select the inventory where your slots are located and then make sure that this checkbox is checked. Everything will light up from there and everything else can be left. Uh, but make sure that the slot ID, so the slot 9 where it said there, is basically how many slots you have. So if you're testing in the actual procedure editor, it should be minus 1. Okay, so that's about it. Um, it's pretty basic blocks. Uh, there's not much to it. Um, but if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.